Hi, I'm Simon from the Red Ferret and this is the Epson ET2600. This is a Wi-Fi printer copy scanning thing. And why is this printer so special? Well, you can print a lot of pages with this thing before it actually runs out. So it's cartridge free. I think it works with some kind of drops or something. I, 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 I'll have to check it out how it really works. You can print up to 7500 color pages and 4500 pages in black with this thing, which is very, which is a lot, yeah. All right, we have the printer over here, which is actually a bit smaller than I expected. And the bottles are a bit larger than I expected. So there are four of these bottles, CMYK and black, of course. More power comes back now. Right, so on the front of this thing, we have the buttons over here, which uh, are used for powering on the device using Wi-Fi, using the settings, color, non-color, and this is for the colors as well. You have something over here, which I have no idea what this is. This is the input for the paper over here, so it's a regular A4 paper. And this is a scanning department. So we have the cables over here, which are wrapped in plastic, and there are no cartridges, so I'm going to have to find out where I put the other things in. Okay. So you get an indication over here where the light of the ink is flashing. So that means you need to fill in ink. And there's also another light of paper, but paper is in there. So, all right. Um, let's fill up the ink. Oh, this is dangerous. Okay, just do this very cold. Okay, and now uh, black, six, six, four, yeah. And now I just have to pour this in. Oh my God. Okay, so one bottle is a full tank. Okay, so this printer is doing something right now and I just read that it's charging the ink and that can take up to 20 minutes. So we'll have to wait until it's finished charging the ink. I will still be here, stargazing. All right, so it's been 20 minutes and the light of the ink is not flashing anymore. So I guess it's ready. We're going to install this thing on the app. So there's an app called Epson iPrint and I have to select a printer Wi-Fi direct. I, I pressed the WPS button on my router downstairs. I pressed the Wi-Fi button on this thing for like three seconds and something happened. And then I pressed the button next to the Wi-Fi button and then this came out. So I'm assuming that this will be the Wi-Fi address or something. Ah, ET2600 is down here finally. And we are in it. So I press the scanning button on my phone right now and it actually, wow, that's actually more than decent quality as you can see. All right, yeah, so I scanned this document and printed it over here and as you can see, the quality of the scan is actually very good. So past that test, scanning on this thing, very good, yeah. When I was printing the scan, it took a long time just for some words, so that wasn't really impressive, it's, it took a very long time to print it. The scanning was fast, way faster than my previous scanner. And right now I'm printing a picture with a lot of colors, so we'll see what the quality is, how long it takes, and yeah, what the quality is, but I already said that. Yeah. Hmm. No, that's, that's not what, nah, that's not good. The colors just fade away over here as you can see, 
he tries, but no, that's not that. That doesn't look at anything like the picture. Oh, that's not good. I'm going to try to reset the printer. Maybe that helps. All right. So I cleaned the printer heads, and let's see if that makes any difference because the quality of that picture was not good. I'm going to take a selfie if I can do that with this app. Ah, that looks way better. All right, yeah. That's a pretty sharp, ooh, that's actually a pretty good picture as you can see. Look, that's a, yeah. That's a more than decent picture. I, I like that quality. I don't know what happened with this one. I cleaned the printer head after this happened, but uh, it looks like on a bigger picture at least, the quality is very good. It, it has the details over here as well and over here, these color uh, changes over there. It even has my, how, 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 yeah. I... All right, so round up about this printer. I like the way it scans, it can scan documents very fast, so that's good, that's always important for fast scanning. Printing is not that fast, I've seen faster printers, but yeah, it's something to get used to maybe. The most interesting thing about this printer is the amount of pages it can print. It can print up to 4500 pages in black and 7500 in color, and that's actually a lot. They mailed me that I could use this printer for three years and the ink wouldn't run out. So if that is true, that's pretty nice, pretty neat. And yeah, the quality of the print is good as well. On the second try, I have to say the installation process was a little complicated for me. So the easiest thing to do is uh, press the WPS button on your router downstairs. Press the Wi-Fi button for a couple of seconds on this one when you press the WPS button. Then it will start connecting, I assume, because there's no LCD on this thing. And then you press the button next to the Wi-Fi button to print this page and then it will pop up. Or it will even pop up without printing this page as well, I think. And then you can connect and the app, I like the app very much, so that's a plus for me as well. By the way, this printer retails for $250 if I'm not mistaken. That's, um, yeah, that's a lot of money for a printer. But if it can really print for three years with that ink, you save a lot of money for buying ink instead uh, of uh, buying this printer for a bit more money and not spending all that money for ink during the months and weeks after you print it with this thing. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. If you didn't, leave a dislike down below. And if you have any questions regarding the Epson ET2600 or 2600, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be very glad to answer them. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I'll see you in our next video.